Uh, first off, Happy New Year to my friends across the Western Pacific. It is 2022. For those of you still recovering from recent storms, well, I do hope the best for you and hope for some fairer weather here in this upcoming year. Let's talk about the upcoming year and especially naming skill. First from Pagasa, because I thought this was kind of interesting. In 2018, we had three retired named storms, Ompong, uh, Rosita, and Usman. All three were retired. Those are going to be taken off of the naming list for this season, replaced here by Obet, Rosal, and Umberto as well. The next one on tap for Bigasa, by the way, is Agaton. Also, I do want to note, this is another great graphic from Lex at Western Pacific Weather. He put together, uh, it, this is the reason why these storms were decommissioned or taken off the list. 300 deaths or over 1 billion pesos in damages. That's really the threshold that they uh, use for this when they want to take them off the list and never use them again. If you're curious, will Odette be retired? Yes, it will. It caused over 300 deaths, 407 at least at this time, and 23 billion pesos in damages. It far eclipses both of those marks, and that name will never be used again by Pagasa. All right, let's get into our local forecast, though, as we look ahead. Of course, if you like these updates, check us out on Patreon. I got a link down below, Facebook, Twitter, and also I've occasionally, I've been neglecting it lately, but at Western Pacific Weather, I do post these updates. All right, here's a look at the tropics. We still have the easterlies continuing to dominate out here. It's staying dry back towards Guam. Not really any uh, worries about impacts out there, but from Visayas into Cebu, you got plenty of rain showers still taking place. That is that shear line. The change in the northeasterly flow colliding with the easterlies, you get that battle zone setting up here, and it creates those thunderstorms along that mark, and that has been the case here all week. That's the reason why you're seeing these rains, and unfortunately, it is going to stay that way through Sunday and into Monday. But good news, I got good news in the forecast. This is going to taper off. So let's take a look at this hour by hour forecast. Here's Sunday. See that shear line still setting up because here's your collision right there. There's your line of showers. Watch how that surge pushes us further and further and further south. Eastern Mindanao, you're still going to see the rainfall. It's going to back off eventually, but look at Visayas by Tuesday and the Wednesday. It dries out for you. Unfortunately, by Wednesday and the Thursday, I do have another cold surge that's going to be setting up, and that's going to be more showers to parts of Luzon. But for now, you can see here as we go ahead through Sunday, east coast of Mindanao starts to shift the rain. Cebu finally gets a little bit of a breakout here. Uh, you're actually going to be looking at partly cloudy skies, even as Samar and Leyte finally get some better weather to help clean things up out here. But further towards the north, this cold surge really is being felt. And now I say cold surge. I get it. It's relatively colder. I mean, look at Bakio, 12 degrees for the low here on January 1st. Whew. Uh, yes, Cassigoran, 19. I mean, even... 20 degrees that's out there uh, in eastern Samar getting down to 20 for them is a yeah, that's a winter's day so the cold surge of that northeast monsoon now Mihan really being felt all across this area for my friends in the Philippines so stay warm out there that's one thing all right surge is going to weaken though but new round by Wednesday through Friday is going to set up first impacting Okinawa Taiwan and eventually there into northern Luzon another round of some gusty conditions and passing showers as well heaviest of the rainfall though still remains further down here towards the south on top of that all right let's take a look at some of your local forecasts here in the Cebu, like I said, you're starting to see some of that cooler air set up. So down to 28, 22 for the low. And then partly cloudy skies by Wednesday, Thursday, and also on the Friday. At least no rain in the forecast at this time. Off towards Manila we go. And Manila is actually, or excuse me, that was Manila. This is Cebu. The rain's coming off your forecast. Tuesday and the Wednesday, cloudy skies, high of 28, low about 25 degrees. Now, I thought that looked a little bit weird. Anyways, I'm going to keep that in. You guys will understand kind of the, the difference there. Uh, big th thanks for everybody on Patreon who has been helping out. Our newest Super Typhoon was Bubba. Thank you very much, Bubba, for jumping in and helping keeping us um, going here at our Patreon page for Western Pacific weather. If you guys want to help out, I mean, I, I thank you. Thank everybody who helps out um, on Patreon. Put a new update soon, just showing you kind of behind the scenes here. Just $2 a month helps keep this stuff running. If you want to donate more, that always does help uh, as well. I mean, every bit so I can keep you guys posted. All the money goes straight back into the uh, computer graphics I'm using here. Somebody was asking me about, can I get that on my phone? No, actually I have a 
stupid expensive computer on the ground that I use to run these fantastic graphics. Every single one of these particles takes up that much memory and that much RAM, and it's actually pretty heavy on the system. But I get this beautiful, beautiful look here uh, and uh, taking a look at that forecast through Monday. Also, if you're on Patreon, uh, you can let me know if there's anything you would like to see more on in the updates, and I'll make sure to uh, post those into the forecast and incorporate it. For now, pretty detailed one for today's update. I hope it's useful for you. Stay safe out there. As always, thanks for watching.